All right. Okay, so uh, four forms of writing a linear function. They are 1, y equals mx plus b. And if you're going to use that, m is slope, which you already know. y is isolated. And oh, I better b is y intercept, which is the point 0, y. Y is isolated and positive. And if I gave you this, 3, 2, could you put that into the, y, into the uh, slope-intercept formula? Why could you do that, Haley? Why am I allowed to take those two numbers and put them somewhere in the slope intercept formula because they're an x and a y if i do that the slope intercept formula gets me what if i put those points into there two equals m three plus b then, if I know either the slope or the y-intercept, I can find the other one. Everybody is good? That is the key concept here. Every, the coordinates can go back into the equation. Okay? All right, the second one we had was point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And again... M equals the slope. <sighs> and X one, Y one are points on the line. But what's the trick? What do we got to remember about those points? Oh, I hope you guys don't have a test on this today. That would suck since nobody knows the answer. Right. The little thing to remember is they are the points on the line, but the signs are reversed. So if I, again, if I gave you three, two, where would the three and the two go? Because I'm telling you that point is on the line. So where would they go? Right there and right there. And once you know that, what does that get you? As Haley just said, y minus 2 equals m x minus 3. Now, if I gave you any other point and told you it was on that line, for example, um, 6, 4, where would that x and y go now four minus two and six minus three and that would allow you to find the slope is everybody with me everybody cool this one bothers people because there's two x's and two y's one of them is your starting point. The other one is the regular X and Y. The third form was general form. And that's AX plus BY plus C. And of course, those can all be negative, these two pluses. And what do we got to remember about that? 
A is positive. A, B, C are whole. So no fractions or decimals. Now, this one is a pain because this one is really only good for X and Y intercepts. Zero, oops, sorry. X zero, zero, Y. And remember, they make the other drop out. Please notice what letter is missing from three that was in one and two. M, general form and his ugly cousin standard form do not give you any indication of slope unless you do algebra to put them into one of the other forms. Do you all understand me? Whatever let number ends up with X in the first two, that's your slope. But this one is not an M, so it's not your slope. Does everybody understand? What? You can't get the slope from that formula unless you do algebra by isolating y. Now, if you're smart and you look closely, I'm just going to write um, for standard form, the ugly cousin, which is just ax plus by equals C. Now, you should recognize, you should recognize that it's very easy to get the slope here. Correct? Right? M in both of these cases will simply equal negative A over B. Because if I move that A over there, it's going to become negative. Then I would divide by B. So if you do that, you do get your slope, but you have to do some algebra. Okay? All right, I'm going to take a moment, take a sip of coffee, let this percolate down into your brains a little bit to keep the coffee metaphor going. Because, of course, coffee is made... By percolating, yes. You move the C. If it was positive, it becomes negative. You don't take out the zero, you move the C over to take the place of the zero. Now, we're going to practice this, as you can see on this page right now. But, I just want to make sure everybody's cool. We're all good. All right. So, this very first question. Find the linear function that has a, that slope and that y-intercept. What of the four forms are we going to use? Pardon? y equals mx plus b. Because we have a slope and a y-intercept. Yes? What is it? y equals 5x plus 1. Do you guys have 1? It's 4y. 4. Because it's got a y-intercept of 4. Unless there's a misprint in your book. Okay. Do you understand? Because you made an error there. You good? Okay. Does everybody understand how we came to this answer. Yes? yes? Okay. Now, take this answer and perform algebra to get standard and general form. Remember, those are both ax plus by plus c equals zero 
that's over here, and AX plus BY equals C, that's over here. What is the, what's got to move? I'll wait a moment while you decide. You can talk to your neighbor about it if it's messing with your head. Would anybody like to volunteer 2A? Careful, it makes it hard for me to decide when that many hands go up. I'm gonna try again. Closing my eyes to wish that I had students that had paid attention and weren't lying when they told me they understood. <sighs> my wish still didn't come true. I'm going to try a third time to see if one person out of the 23 in this room can move the two things that need to be moved algebraically to put that into standard form. Oh, I got my wish! Excellent. So you had 5x minus y equals what? Negative 4. Well done. Now, how do I make that general form? Huh? I move the 4 and it becomes what for y's? Equals what for y's? Excellently done, Fawaz. Sydney. Hi. Amy. Amy Marie Martin. No? Amy Marie. Mm, Mathers. Amy Marie McCatherine. Amy Marie McGonagall. Amy Marie. <laughs> Mac Fitzgerald. <laughs> Amy Mc. <laughs> All right, go on. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to leave the five negative because A's got to be positive. Yeah. 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 All right. Moving on to number three. What two pieces of information do we have? We have a slope right there. So we have an M. What's that? A point. So what is our best form to use here? Point slope form, which is Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. Now, if you take one second to write that out, is it possible to do this question wrong? No, it isn't. Because you know that these are the points that are on the graph, yes? Is that point on the graph? Is that an X? Is that a Y? So, Y minus, what's the Y? Y minus minus 2. Would we ever write that? Of course not. We would write Y plus 2 equals M. What's M? 2 thirds. X minus 6. And we would be done. And once again, by writing that out, taking one extra second, one less second to talk about Snapchats with the person beside you, you get full marks. Which is more important? Which is the one that you have invested three, almost four weeks of your summer in working on? This or, oh my God, what happened to you this weekend? I know which one is more important, would have been more important to me when I was your age if I had gone to summer school. Of course not. 
why would I ever give up a month of summer in a million years? Huh? So? That's crazy talk. You have other breaks, you should give up all your weekends. Right? I'm just saying. Even when I used to get bad grades, I was like, summer school? Not in a million years. And my mom was all like, you know, you did really bad in math in grade eight. And I was like, I know, I can read, which of course got me slapped across the face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, didn't make me go, wanted me to, but A, it cost money back then and we never had any money. I don't know, does it cost you guys anything? Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it costs like 500 bucks to go to summer school when I was your age. And since my mom never had money. All right. So there is our answer. Now I want it in standard, general, and slope intercept. This is not hard. This is, we spent a lot of time working on this yesterday. Bounced around, I explained it. What do I need to do to make this look like standard form? AX plus BY equals C. What must I do to this to make it look like that? And is there any right order to do it in? No. There are some things that you should consider, but, and there's ways that some of you want to do this that I don't particularly like, so I don't do it that way. Are you allowed to do it that way? Of course you are. Some of you will want to do, See how I stopped there and waited for you to throw in what you would want to do? Some of you will want to do... What? Some of you will want to do... You want to do slope-intercept first? Okay. So you would take this and make it look like y equals mx plus b. What is the difference between that one and that one? There's no brackets. And? Y is isolated. So I would need to get rid of the brackets, yes? We have lots of ways to get rid of brackets. That is not one of the ways to get rid of brackets. How do I get rid of brackets? You could, you could multiply by three and then divide by two. And that would get rid of your brackets. Or you could do what Amy has just done and used proper math terminology, this. You could do this. This. Yes, you could distribute. Bonus points for you. All right, so if you're going to distribute that, you're going to end up with y plus 2 equals 2 thirds x minus what? You guys are bad at multiplying fractions. What is the answer here? 4. Why is it four? Because two thirds times six is really two thirds times six over one, which is really 12 over three, which is really four, right? And now what do I need to do there to get to here? Pardon? Move the two. 
So y equals 2 thirds x minus 6. Now once you're there, is it easy to get to the other two as well? Of course it is. What is different here from there? Fractions. I got to get rid of the fraction. What gets rid of divided by 3? Multiply by 3. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 6. Then I got to multiply by 3. 3. Which means I got to multiply this side by 3. All of that I wrote blank on my screen. You know how you guys don't see it up there and then it just appears? It also doesn't appear on my screen. No, not really. It's just a pain in the ass. I just like complaining about this thing. So what do I get? What do I get? 3y equals 2x minus 18. Now what do I got to do to this to make it look like this? If I move the 2x, what's going to happen? It's going to be negative. Is that allowed? You could, but that's an extra step, isn't it? Since x is already positive, can't we leave them there? Can't we? So if I move that over there and that over there, will I be okay? Okay, so what do I get? 2x minus 3y equals positive 18. Excellently done. And then general form is just 2x minus 3y minus 18 equals zero. Excellently done. <sighs> nope, not stressful at all. Look at how calm I am about it. Did any of you see what the coach of the New England Patriots did to his surface? He threw it across the field. Because they always crash. And because Microsoft is a sponsor of the NFL, all the NFL coaches were supposed to use surfaces. But Bill Belichick, nobody tells Bill Belichick what laptop to use, and he chucked it. Why? Because it's a piece of garbage. Pardon? I can't. I didn't buy it. The school district bought it. Most people don't have these problems with it because most people don't use it as much as I do. But according to Andrea, Barker uses it every day and it doesn't screw up this much on him. Maybe the Surface, the camera is folk pick, like actually working right now and tracking me. And when it tracks Barker, it sees that he's a giant man and all the nerds at Microsoft are scared of him. So they make sure his works. Then they see me and they just see another nerd. And they're like, oh, we don't have to worry about that guy. We're going to let his screw up every two seconds. <laughs> Let's go play some Dungeons and Dragons. I'm just kidding. That's horribly stereotypical. Nerds don't play Dungeons and Dragons anymore. I know, which is even lamer. Because at least to play Dungeons and Dragons, you had to go out of your house and meet with friends. But now you can do World of Warcraft without ever leaving your house. Lameness, David. You're better off not knowing. Is it a Blizzard game? Yes, it's a Blizzard game. The people at Blizzard are only slightly less evil than the people at Facebook. Because the people at Blizzard have almost done as good a job as social media at ruining you people. I think Ryan's doing the worst. I look at question five. 
a blanket? What the hell? I did. I did. It's because I'm in male menopause. I'm having hot flashes. No, male menopause doesn't exist. It's called a midlife crisis. And I'm not having one. I'm living the same life I lived when I was 20. I'm not going to have one because midlife crises are for people who aren't happy with their life. Who wouldn't be happy with my life? I've got awesome kids. I've got a great job. I've got a super hot wife. I already ride a motorcycle whenever I want, which is one of the midlife crisis things, right? I'm going to go get me a motorcycle and re reacquire the freedom of my youth. I never let it go. I already, my wife lets me do whatever I want. Honey, I'm going to play baseball. Okay. Honey, I'm going to play rugby in LA. Okay. Honey, I'm going to play rugby in Aspen. Okay. Okay. No. That is my wife. Yes. No, that was, that's, that's my girlfriend. Shh. Don't tell anybody. I have my girlfriend pick me up in a station wagon, even though I ride a motorcycle. I'm cool enough to have a better girlfriend than that if I had a girlfriend, David. That's my wife. I was wondering, because it didn't look at, like, the one the picture we had. Or, like, the video. I... What? No. Dairy Queen blizzards don't ruin you because Dairy Queen blizzards make you, again, have to go out of your house and talk to people. Now, it makes you fat if you buy anything but the small blizzard. I got friends that get the extra large blizzard all the time. That's a liter of ice cream. A liter. That ain't right. Ecti, we've moved on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Huh? What about it? No, no, why? Because I'm a grown up. You know why? Because I'm a grown up. Yeah, no, no, no. You're seeing people over the age of 19 doing that. Those are not grown ups. There's a difference. A grown up does not chase imaginary monsters invented by a Japanese company to fool you into thinking you have a life. Grown-ups go out and live their life. When I want to go for a hike, I just go for a hike. I am not looking for imaginary monsters floating in the air. I just hike. You know why? Because there's stuff to see that's already there that's impressive enough. I don't need to see something pretend on a screen this big when I have real-life ultra-high def to look at stuff. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, what form are we going to use here? No. That's not even one of the options. <laughs> slope intercept. Why would you use slope intercept? Because it says to use slope intercept. Which is y minus mx plus b. Do you have any of that information right now you do you have the x and the y but do you have an m no do you have a b no can you find an m how because m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is what? Four minus five over what? Negative two minus one, which is? Negative one over negative three, which is? One over three. 
So now that you have an M, where can you put it? Where the sun don't shine. Where can you put it? In for M, which gives you Y equals one-third X plus B. Hmm. What can I do now, he asked quizzically. I know you have no idea. Somebody, you could get B. How could you get B, Gurmak? No, no. Just like a glacier, one step forward, two steps back. Use which points? It doesn't matter, does it, Amy? I could put either of them in there. Why? Because they're both X's and Y's. And they could both go in there to find B. But one of them is a better choice than the other one. Which one should you use? Should you use 1, 5 or negative 2, 4? Why did you choose 1, 5, Sydney? Because I agree with you. I think it is the better choice. Because there's no negative. So where does that X go? After one third. Where does that Y go? Where there's a Y. Five equals one third plus B. Yes? I want to find B, so what must I do? You must isolate B, which means you must remove this positive one-third. How do you do that? Divide by three. Yes, thank you. Who said that? Amy, you are on fire today. It's a good thing they have blankets so they can smother the flames. Because she is moving that one-third over here so B will be isolated. What is five take away one third? Four and two thirds. Now you have a B, so the slope intercept form is Y equals one third X plus four and two thirds. Dun dun da. What movie was that? No. Those little guys on the bottom of the screen that went dun dun dun. No, I, I don't think it was the minions. What? Toy Story? I don't think so. What? Okay. Okay. Look at number six. What should I use? Look again at number six. X I should use slope intercept form because I see slope and I see the word intercept, right? Yeah. Except not, because why? That's the x intercept. So point slope would be a better choice because the x intercept is what? Two, zero, x and y. So I go to point slope form, y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1, and I put in what I know. y minus what? Zero. So it's just y equals m, five-thirds, x minus two. Is that okay to leave it like that? Well, now that's a bit of a poser, isn't it? Of course you can leave it like that because that's point slope form, isn't it? 
doesn't matter. It's still point slope form. Because y minus 0 is y. Now, the mistake you guys would make if you left it there, I would say, what's the y-intercept? And how many of you would say it's negative 2? What is the y-intercept if you were to leave this like this? Negative 10 thirds. Yeah, I told you it was a poser. None of you believed me. Because that has to distribute in to find the y-intercept. Dun, dun, dun. If the question doesn't give you uh, the y intercept or just, just one of the y intercepts, you can guess that the other one is zero? No. Because here we have x intercept of 2, right? Uh huh. We have y1 is 0. Because the x intercept is 2, comma 0. I'm not sure what you're even asking me to do. I didn't get a y intercept of zero. I never got a y of zero. Oh, to put in because that's the point on the graph. And the x intercept is two zero. How can we be at this point, David, and you not know that? There is the x intercept. What's its value? Why is the y zero? So that's where that zero came to put there. Okay? Sydney. By distributing that five thirds to negative two. I'm not trying to get rid of the brackets. I asked you what the y-intercept was. Because to do, put that into slope-intercept form, which would give me the y-intercept, I would need to distribute that to get rid of the brackets. Now it's in slope-intercept form, so that's the y-intercept. If I got rid of those brackets, I'd have to multiply by 3, wouldn't I? which would mean I would have to multiply that by 3, wouldn't I? Which would mean I would have 3y there, and that's not slope-intercept form. <laughs> All right, number 7. Find the equation of that that's parallel to that. What would make it parallel? Same. same what? Same slope. Right. So I need to find a slope, don't I? Yeah. How do I find a slope when I have standard form? No. Does the 7 have anything to do with the slope? No. Nothing. So I don't need to worry about the 7. How do I get a slope from that? If only I had written it down at the beginning of our notes. If only somebody had thought to mention that. Of course it's A over B because I'm isolating the Y. So, if I isolate y, would I be in slope-intercept form, which would give me the slope. Once I have the slope, do I have a point? So, can I get the equation? So, let's do that. What has to move? So, 4y is going to equal negative 2x. Now what? Divide by 4. Y is going to equal negative 2 fourths X. So what's my slope? 
negative a half. M equals negative one half. Now, do I have a slope? Do I have a point? Do I have point slope form? What is it? Y? No. Y minus one equals negative a half bracket X plus three. Why is it plus three, Andrea? I can quite plainly see it's a negative there. Right, because it's x minus x1, yes? So x minus minus 3 is x plus 3. And then it's done. What about that one? What's the key there? I still need to find the slope, but something's hinky with the slope. So what do I do once I have the slope? What do I have to do? Flip it and change the sign. So this becomes 8y equals negative x. y equals no. Negative 1 over 8x, but I don't want that slope. I want the perpendicular slope. So what do I do? 8 over 1, which is just 8. Now, do I have a slope? E. Do I have a point? E. What do I do? Point slope form, which is? Plus 2 equals? 8 oh, okay, yeah. minus, three. minus 3. You guys must have had a pretty slick math teacher. Now, this is where at summer school, everybody makes a joke and says the name of their math teacher from the semester they just had. So let's make that joke now, everybody. You guys must have had a very slick math teacher. Mr. Barker, Mr. Thomas. Okay, let's go, let's go. Make the jokes. I can take it. You don't remember your last math teacher's name. Kindergarten, Miss Schaefer, grade one for two months, Miss Wong, grade the rest of grade two, Miss Henry, grade three, Miss Carlisle till she left to have a baby, then Miss Silver, her substitute, grade four, Mrs. Cherkasov with a student teacher, Mrs. Battle, grade five, Mrs. Cherkasov with a student teacher, Miss Owen, smoking hot, by the way. Grade six, Miss Lorne and Mrs. Reed. Mrs. Lorne left to have a baby, but because we had two teachers, Mrs. Reed took over full time. Mrs. Reed was teacher, later went to Africa, got taken hostage by Congolese rebels, and fought her way out, and then wrote a book about it. She was my grade six teacher. Grade seven, Mr. Bailey. Grade eight, went to high school, had eight different teachers. Miss Matthews for drama. Mr. Posnikoff for math. Mr. Hart for science. Miss McGrewer for history. Miss Cat, er, history, French. Miss Kalanuck for English. Mr. Cooper for social studies. Mr. Tanabi for PE. Mr. Hurst for music. Miss Matsiauskas for art. Oh my God, I'm missing. Oh, Mr. Uh, Cowell for guidance, but he left halfway through the year and we got Mr. Ueli. That's grade eight. Grade nine, Mr. Voth for math. Should I go on? You don't remember last year? Last, last year. Oh, last, last year. But I don't, I remember everyone from elementary school to middle school, but just not my grade nine. I don't remember my grade nine. What? Who's your grade five teacher? Mrs. Cherkasov. Her, fa her husband was Russian. I know, it sounded naughty, but in the fourth grade, we didn't get it. I know. I also remember being teenage boys. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I had a student teacher in grade six named Miss Karen. 
K E R R I N, Miss Karen. Forgot her. She was pretty too. I was in the sixth grade. I was 11 years old. I. <laughs> As opposed to how funny it was the first time. <laughs> yeah. Names are pretty funny. Nothing like laughing at a name because people chose their name. Your parents did, you didn't. Trout fishing in America. All right. Let's write the equation of each line. A, there is line A. What form should you use? You could use the y-intercept, but it would not be a very good idea. Why? What's the problem with the y-intercept? It might be halfway, but can you be sure? No. So you wouldn't want to use that. Do you know that point right there? Do you know that point right there? So if you have points, can you find the slope? And if you have the slope and points, can you use point slope form? So I would do that. What's my slope? Two. Two over eight, which would be one fourth. And then you have two points, don't you? That point is negative two, three. That point is five, five, five. Which of those points do you have to use in order to do point slope form? Which of those points do you have to use in order to get point slope form? It doesn't matter. I was trying to fool you by saying it that way to make you think that one of the points you had to use. But it's the same thing, isn't it, David? It doesn't matter. So it's y minus 5 equals 1 quarter x minus 5, or it's y minus 3 equals 1 quarter x plus 2. Both answers are acceptable. Do you see what I did there to mess with your heads? Oh, that was a good one. B. There's B. What would you use? What would you use for B? I would use point slope form again. I would go from there to there and get a slope of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 3 over negative 2. So it would be y, and then I would use either of those points. That's negative 4, negative 1. So y plus 1 equals negative 3 halves, x plus 4. Or I could use that one, which is y plus 4 equals negative 3 halves, x plus 2. Excellent. Let's do C. C is really easy. It's straight up and down. So what's the equation of the line? No, that's the slope, David. Why? X equals...
No, x equals 0 is right there. There's no line right there. x equals 5. Excellently done. What's d? Right up there. Y equals 9. Excellently done. David, what does the question say? David, does that have a slope? No. So would you write a slope? No. David, does that have a slope? No. So would you write a slope? No. David, am I stunningly handsome? Yes. So would you just agree? Yes. David, is the back corner funny? No. Looks aren't everything. See what I did there? I said they were all funny looking. I know, Gurmak. That's why I said it. What I say is funny. That's why I do it. And what is E as in eggs erroneous? What would you use? You could use point slope, but don't you have the y-intercept? So you could also use y-intercept form, right? Oh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, seven. So y equals two sevenths x minus six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that line goes right there forever. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Last thing. There is my line that I have. Please notice that line is not complete, is it? It's missing one component. I want to know. I want to know what number would go there for all of these conditions. How do I do that? Because right now, I have three variables. Is it possible to solve an equation with three variables? Not at your level. You can only solve an equation with one variable. So how do you get rid of those? Do you know any of them when I give you that piece of information? No, yeah. Yes, you do. X-intercept is 3. So what is that as a coordinate? 3, comma, 0. And that 3 is what? An X. And that Y is what? That 0 is what? Shut up, Fawaz. He's over there laughing at me like you guys. That's a Y. Where do those two numbers go now? Three. Three times three plus two times zero minus K equals zero. Yes? What am I trying to find? K. What's three times three? Nine minus K equals zero. I want K, yeah? So what moves? K moves. Nine equals K. Done. Everybody good? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What do I do here? 
Same thing, but it's not 3 now. What is it? Negative 2 plus 2 times 0 minus k equals 0. Negative 6 minus k equals 0. K equals? Negative 6. Y intercept to 3, what's that? Really, what's that? Zero comma negative three. So I get three times zero plus two times negative three minus k equals zero. Negative six minus k equals zero. So negative six equals k. Look at you, it's, your, it's like you know what you're doing. Y intercept to seven, what's that really? Zero seven, so it's three times zero plus two times seven. Oh, look at you moving the K early, Germak. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. Oh my God. I remember just three weeks ago and you couldn't even subtract. Oh. I'd like to thank God and my family. <laughs> nice job. My, well, you don't want your eyeliner to run. I just found that out recently, like two years ago. I thought you women were actually thinking you could fan your eyes so fast that you would dry your tears. Two years ago, somebody finally told me, you idiot. They're just trying to keep their eye makeup dry. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. I know, stop laughing at me, Gerline. I don't wear eye makeup. How could I know that? And I'm a man. I've cried like twice. Except that one time you were hmm? you Yes, that time. But again, I didn't cry. Well, Brooklyn, you'd taken that day off, so. Your busy schedule. I'm just kidding. Don't get angry. What? No, 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 no. See, you, you're doing as usual. You're being a man and being too. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you bringing it with your bear? It's this. It's this. Right at your eyes. No, little, little. It's all wrist, Gurma. It's all wrist. It's not, <laughs> you stupid woman, why are you doing? No, it's this. It's little. And you can feel the wind on your eyes. I, Gurmak, I don't actually know. It's just something you see women doing. And I guess dudes that wear a lot of eye makeup would have to do it too. If they were prone to crying. Huh? Huh? You spray something on over the yeah. what is this madness? This is madness. No wonder you guys can never get out the door. <laughs> What's that? A point. Which is? It, no, David. I'm still trying to find K. It's an X and a Y. So it's three times what? Two. Plus two times what? Negative one. Equals K. What's three times two? Minus two. So 6 minus 2, 4 equals K. And this one. Three times negative 4 plus 2 times 3 equals K. Negative 12 plus 6 equals K. Negative 6 equals K. Is everybody good? Now listen to me and listen to me closely. The, the bell is going to ring soon. You're going to use the rest of this block to prepare for your test, which is next block. Now listen to me. 
this stuff is not specifically on your test. But these skills are going to be really useful in doing your test. Do you understand what I am saying? Okay. When you are done your test, of course, you talk as loud as you can to your neighbor while your classmates try to work on their test, right? Yeah, just like usual. But what you really do is you go on to page 224 to 227 because that is going to be marked at the beginning of third block. That is your unit assignment. Those pages, Ekdi. That you no, it is okay. No, it wasn't. All right.